Greetings to all of you and God bless you today. Hope everybody's doing well. Folks, all I can say is Jesus is coming and he is coming very soon. Now, I was having a conversation with a brother in Christ just yesterday about how different things are today compared to what they were like just a few years ago. Actually, he was discussing the rapid decline of obedience to God since the 1960s. You remove God from the schools, you remove prayer from the schools, you remove God from society. What you see right now is going to be the result. Complete lawlessness and immorality. I came across something today and I had to share it with you guys. If you don't think we are living in the end times, if you don't think we are living as it was in the days of Noah and as it was in the days of Lot, think again. You want to know why our kids are so messed up today and the world is the way it is right now? You want to know why the crime rate is exploding and lawlessness is exploding all over the world? Well, I'll give you an example. You know, I saw this today and my mouth dropped. You know, and it shouldn't surprise me uh, because we're told in the Bible that this, this is what it would be like in the last days. And we've seen stories like this from all over the world. However, what caught my attention is how young the kids are in this. But listen to this. This is Justin from Fox News. Oklahoma State University, again, this is a major university in the United States. Oklahoma State University hosts Drag Queen Story Hour for kids as young as two years old. Listen to this. The event is targeted for children ages two through eight. Oklahoma State University hosted a Drag Queen Story Hour for kids as young as two years old earlier in April. The event, Drag Queen Story Hour, which took place on April 9th, was part of Oklahoma State University's Pride Month. A description for the event stated that Ami Reddo and Olivia Lacan, two drag performers, would read books that highlight inclusion and acceptance. So not only are they removing God from our schools and prayer from our schools, uh, you're bringing and you're confusing kids on whether they're a male or a female. Uh, gender X, we're seeing all this Gender X stuff going on now. I think they're going to start putting it on the passports if they haven't done it already. If you don't think you're a male or a female, you could put Gender X. So they're confusing our kids, even as young as two years old, just when they start kindergarten, on their gender. Right? And then you have an event hosted by a major university, Oklahoma State University, a drag queen story hour, targeting kids as young as two years old up until eight years old. Folks, this is discur disturbing and it's disgusting. Now, we have seen stories similar to this popping up all over the world, almost in every country, right? But again, what caught my attention is the age range here. Kids as young as two years old. Two to eight, the target age for this drag queen story, uh, story hour. This is insane, folks. But then, you know, it reminds me of what the Apostle Paul records in the book of Romans chapter 1, verse 28 to 32, when he says the following, And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient, being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, malignity, wi um, whisperers, backbiters, haters of God, despiteful, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents, without understanding, covenant breakers, without natural affection, implacable, unmerciful. Now listen to this next part, folks. Who knowing the judgment of God, that they which commit such things are worthy of death, not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. That's what's happening right now, folks. Evil is being called good, and good is being called evil. And if you speak out against these abominations, especially what they're subjecting our kids to now, right? you are the one that's called evil. And then the Apostle Paul says in 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 1 to 5, This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come, for men shall be lovers of their own selves, covet, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truce breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good, traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God, having a form of godliness but denying the power thereof, from such turn away. 
Folks, Romans chapter 1, verse 28 to 32, and 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 1 to 5, it's happening here, it's happening now. God gave them over to a reprobate mind. And then in verse 32 of Romans 1, who knowing the judgment of God that they which commit such things are worthy of death, not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. I had to share this with you guys. When I saw again, Oklahoma State University hosted a drag queen hour for kids targeting the ages of two years old to eight years old. I mean, folks, you can't make this stuff up. Again, you want to know why things are the way they are right now. Lawlessness is exploding all over the planet. Immorality. Our kids are messed up because, again, there's no. they've taken God out of the schools. They've taken prayers out of the school. All right? You remove God. You remove prayers. This is the result. A godless society. We're told this would happen. Jesus is coming and he's coming soon. And if you don't have Jesus Christ in your life, just look around this world right now. Look at what your Bible says. And again, you will see several things. The Bible is real. The Bible is alive. Jesus is real. Jesus is alive. And Jesus is coming back. And he is coming back one day very soon. You need to get saved right now. This ship, this world system, it is sinking and it is sinking fast just like the Titanic. You need to get on the lifeboat right here and right now. And that lifeboat is Jesus Christ in him alone. Jesus Christ is the only way to the kingdom of heaven, and he's the only name that can save you. I'm not telling you to get religious. I am telling you, you can be saved right here, right now, as you're watching this video. Now is the accepted time. Now is the day of salvation. What do you have to do to be saved? Well, the gospel of your salvation is found in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 1 to 4. Believe. You're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. The sin debt that you can never pay on your own, Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross at Calvary so you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins, and be with him forever in heaven. So you're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins, he was buried, and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. That's the gospel of your salvation. If you're still confused, here's the bottom line. Every single one of us is a sinner. We all miss the mark. We all fall short of the glory of God. We serve a holy, a just, and a perfect God. In our sin, it separates us from a holy, a just, and a perfect God. But God loves you so much that he would come down. He would be born of a virgin. He became flesh. He dwelt among us. And he was brutally tortured and crucified and shed his precious blood for you on that cross at Calvary. Again, the sin debt that you can never pay on your own, Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross so you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins, and be with him forever in heaven. That is love, my friends. That is love. I am begging you. I am imploring you. Get saved right now. Put your faith and your trust in the blood of Jesus Christ right now. Again, believe Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. And do it now because you are not promised your next breath. Any of us can breathe our last breath at any moment. And I want you to go to heaven, but Jesus Christ is the only way there. And make no mistake about it. We are living in the last days and Jesus is coming soon. God bless you.